Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jet here, and I'm currently doing the uh, uh, this. I'm gonna do. I'm doing this video from my comfort of my own home. Um, so bear with me. If I have to leave, I'll pause the video, leave, and come back. Okay. So let's continue doing. Uh, just I'm just gonna call it Lost Belfour. I cannot pronounce that name. <sighs> Otherwise known as the. The Indian Lost Belt. No, not as a Native American, just in, from India. So, okay. Alright, we got Lancers and Berserkers. Uh, let's go ahead and put. Um, go ahead and find. So it's Lancer, so I gotta use all savers here. Uh, he's already Bond 5, so I'm working on. Um, I'm working on Mori. Oh, no, 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 no. In this, in. Working on, working on her. Oh, by the way, before I start, I have an announcement. I was watching my uh, reaction video to the Elf Academy anime by, by that's being made, being made by Mihoyo, and uh, I just noticed that I'm over 100 subscribers. To all those out there who are subscribed to me, all 104 of you, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching my videos. And. Uh, Honestly, I don't know if I should do anything for 100 subscribers other than just say thank you. Let's let's keep it going, okay? <laughs> all right. So, <sighs> all that personal stuff aside, let's get into this. As you can see, I for my sabers, I use. Well, this is what I when I just go all saber out here. Um, hmm. Honestly, though, it doesn't really look like a good enough team. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna switch out Okita for my best saber. Musashi. Uh, should I put an AoE saber in there though? I mean, if I do, I'm gonna put Mordred. Ah, <sighs> hmm. I'll tell you that, I'll, I actually go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put Mordred in there. <coughs> <coughs> As you can tell, both Mordred and um, uh, Musashi are in P5. That's why I'm doing that. Um, Nero Bride, I want to get her keeper in there because of the whole because of her um, her MP gain skill, which is perfect for Mordred. Hmm. I honestly don't know if, what what to expect in this because I'm kind of this completely blind. I am not. I didn't do it. I'm not doing it like I did last Lost Belt. Looking at what I've got, what I'm expecting. But um, here we go. Let's get it started. There are more than I expected. This could be troublesome. Ah, stay back! Get away from me! P please, dear God, save me! Ooh, that didn't sound good. Ah. It's my fault. I was one step too late. These people have no weapons which, with which to defend themselves. If their homes are destroyed, there's nothing they can do to avoid being eaten. This is horrific. I've been focused on the Kali, but going after them more fragile houses, but there seems to be no end to no them. It's becoming a problem. I can wipe them all at once with my normal phantasm, but that would also end up destroying the very people and homes they are trying to, we are trying to protect. Well, let's have the best we can taking out one of them out one at a time. Agreed. This is truly a race against time. Every second counts when eliminating these monsters. Good. Great, but I just have to stay out of sight so as not to interfere with your information gathering. 
I never expected you would end up suddenly fighting such an intense battle. It would seem that I'll need to run all in strong, all the instruments at full power so, so as not to miss any data. So much for my break, hmm? Hold it. There's something else headed your way. Many somethings, I should say, and all distinctly different from the creatures you're currently fighting. Mm hmm? The f. Huh? What are those white beasts? Are they hostile too? No, look. They're attacking the Colleen. Okay. So they're on our side? Not necessarily. I am not sure they eat people or if they hunt Kali and simply mistook us for them. But they're coming after us too. And I guess there's no point in wondering how these new creatures might affect the situation. We'll just have to follow Car Karna's lead and put everything we have into fighting back. We can't let them harm anyone else. Can't, can't allow harm to kill anyone else. Please give us your orders, Master. Here we go. with a uh... okay good job May sorry that's Miyoki Sawashiro that's why I just said that damn it Should uh, help with MP. All right. Fucking hate that. look nice okay this will be good for Musashi and Mordred
Okay. Nero should be able to take this one out, and looks like she'll take out the last one. Yep. Good job, Nero. So we get some bicorn horns from that from those things. And a story stage, any story bit? Nope. Right back to the thing. Oh, yeah, we got some story. <sighs> all nearly all nearby house was eliminated. We did it. We finally managed to get rid of all, of all those demonic looking Kali monsters. And the white beast that showed up later. As I suspected. It would seem those white beasts in the Kali are mortal enemies, given how viciously attacked one another. Indeed. Nor did the white beasts attempt to destroy any part of the town. It was only them that we were able to defend off the Kali. Though we did have to eliminate them as well, given that they also tried to attack us. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh my god, I just realized something. I just used Siren, May, and Ye in that in that party. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really, I'm playing Honkai with this, and I'm like, I just used, because, um, when she's not doing, when she's, when, when Ria Kogamiya's not doing, uh, Siren as the hair of the Void got Kiana, her voice has been done by the same voice actress, uh, Sakura Tange, for, um, for, uh, uh, Nero. Um, Sakura Tange does the voice of Siren. Um, otherwise, uh, let's see here, what else? Who, uh, then, um, uh, like I said, Miyuki Sawashiro does the voice of, um, well, the character's right there, Rama, and um, uh, uh, Mordred, and the voice actress for Musashi also does the voice of Ye Sakura. <laughs> Interesting. Hello, Ajai. You lot did this, huh? Now you've done it. Glad to see your key, Ojai. <laughs> Can you tell us what these things are? I first figured these guys are from the other side of the mountain, since they don't pray. But I guess they really are just a bunch of Uru who don't know anything about the Kali. Either way, I don't want to be part of this trouble. What's there to tell? If you let know what's good for you, you'll get out of here as soon as... Miss, are you guys okay? You are? That's astonishing. I'm so glad you're all right. I'm glad you're all safe. All right, too, Asha. We're really to see you're not hurt. Yeah, I'm okay, but Fihan's well. I see. He's dragging his leg. Poor thing. Yeah, he got caught. He got caught in the cabinet that fell down. Our house started shaking. I'm sorry, Bihan. Fool. God. Is there any value in a dog that can't run? W what happened? Collier dead? 
and the sacred beasts? Uh, hello? Who are you? I'm Prakush. I'm Prakash, the town mayor. Are you travelers? Do they about this disaster? We do. These beasts attacked us, so we killed them. You what? If you look a full account, then call, then call for your finest scribe. It would be such a waste for me to re recount my exploits without someone pr present to record them. Well, what have you done? How could you have killed the very agents of our god to, to keep us safe? We didn't have a choice. It was self-defense. Agreed. There was no other way. What's more, they were not the only ones we killed. That's right, we also fought the creatures you call Kali. Please understand, we we're only trying to protect your town. Ha! Don't be ridiculous, there's nothing to understand. What you have done is unforgivable. It goes against every law of this world. Besides, the gods say our beasts will never attack people with a, without a good reason. Ah, this is terrible. If we incur the god's wrath, if, we th if he thinks our town allowed, or worse, incurs your vile deeds, we'll all be done for. Go away. Leave our town at once. You are no longer welcome to beat you. Yeah, get out of here. You damn heretics will get us all killed. Oh no. Can they be people I've been hearing about so rumors about lately? Does this, this is mean we're going to su suffer divine punishment? Oh, well, this is unexpected. They look like they might start throwing us stones at any moment. What would you have us do, Master? Let's get out of here for now. I agree. It would be difficult to gain any more information under these circumstances. Besides, I think we're trying to avoid trouble with the locals as much as we possibly can. Good, good point, Mosh. Let's go look for, let's go look for somewhere else to, to, of town. Let's go look for outside somewhere outside of town. Out camp. Poor travelers. We're going back. Yeah, we're going back to the main screen. Quiet field, and we're gonna have a no battle. Um, I wouldn't mind doing it, but then again. Uh, let's see, let's see how long this video is. Uh, let's, let's get some story. Well, this is a fine how do you do? No, sir, do you find a time you get kicked out? When, then you get kicked out for fighting. You barely even have any intel to show for it. All you do is waste our precious time. First Russia, then Scandinavia, and China, and now India. Why can't we ever catch a damn break? Good grief, when you're examining a crime scene with a magnifying glass, Gordolf, do you focus on the stain on your pants before even considering the evidence? Huh? What's that supposed to be? Are you saying I have a stain on my finely, finely ironed slacks? Oh my god, Gordolf is an idiot. Oh no, I beg your pardon. Your uniform is quite spotless. Of course it is. He said that their salt would should keep their uniform white as snow. I might clean by the laundry by the laundry type before we left. Laundry type? Hmm. Draw the call see a weird looking cat running around to the running around base for before? Um Holmes? Do you mean that if we go to find anything that that might lead us to what we are seeking? We should be prepared to suffer a few setbacks at first. Precisely. If you do focus on your expense on your expense ledger, you must see the evidence that that's right in front of you, my dear Watson. Understood. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Damn it! That was my chance to be Watson. Curse my gentleman! They fit propensity to be so accurately aware of my appearance. Uh, I knew that, of course. I was just a plain devil's advocate. A nervous, high-strung devil's advocate. I was um just a, it was just um a cunning ploy to elicit the, that reaction from Holmes. Yes, that's it. 
<sighs> I'm really not star I'm not really even wishing this guy would have died in China. Fool. Anyway, we managed to find a good place nearby where we can pitch camp, right? In that case, why don't I try asking the little bunny hiding in the tall grass behind you for a recomm recommendation? Good idea in that case. Please don't hide in there, Asha. Can't come out where we can see you. Yikes! You, you surprised me! Since we're already surprising her, I might as well introduce myself. I'm sure she can handle it. Hi there, Asha. My name's Da Vinci. I'm a friend of Solaria's. I'm not actually here right now. I'm just something, just using something called a transmission to send my voice over the air. There's also a detective here who might pop in every, every now and then. But don't mind him. He's harmless. Oh, you also have a commander who's also really bad with kids. But I'm having him sit this out, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> I bet she's looking at him like, mm -mm. Wow, just one surprise after another. You try to really can do amazing things, can't you? The other townspeople are eager to see us leave. Why did you come after us? That's just like Carter gets straight to the point. I was curious about that too, but still. Oh, uh, well, I want to give you these. Thank you for saving us. Oh, bananas. Thanks. <sighs> I won't be able to eat them because I'm allergic to bananas. Oh, these are fine bananas indeed. You know, I used to feast on the on the bananas that that Hanuman would pick for me all the time. They're jewels of the heavens. So delectable, a single bite can make your cheeks melt away with ple in pleasure. But I can tell that these bananas are so surely every bit they're equal. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for this gift, Asha. Hanuma? You know, Hanuman, the lucky god, one of my closest allies. What's that? You've never even heard of him? Poor Hanuman. I guess even picking up and carrying a whole mountain wasn't enough to be to make you famous. You were no business to be laughing at Laksh Lakshmana. Hold on. That's just a dumb thing could be no. But let me ask something just to make sure. Have you heard the name Rama before? Is the cocking head. What? <laughs> My name is Karna. I'm the warrior who once fought alongside the Karamas, the descendants of King Kuru. Have you heard my name before? Shaking head. I see. Well, that is no surprise. I still have one way to go before I reach the heights of mastery I strive for. Don't be ridiculous, Karna. That's giving your so far too little credit. It is no exaggeration to say that the Indi that in the India from proper human history, there is not a single person alive who has not heard of your names. That is how great your heroic deeds were. So people were here have no familiar with myths or the past or the figures of well known stories. That would mean that neither the Mahabharata nor the Roma Ramayana exist in this lost belt. Alternatively, they may have existed in the past, but have since been forgotten. Hmm. How sad of things that people in this day have never heard of my grand exploits. No, wait. Does Queen of Kang be sure my exploits ha happened here? If they didn't, does that mean that not that I nor Sita exist in this India? Either way, if Asha is her view, there's no point in pursuing this line of questioning any further. I think it's best to be stick to stick to questions she'll actually be able to help us with. Starting with our campsite. Asha, I'm looking for a place where we can rest for the night. Can you think of any good spots? Well, um, there's a cave near here where we used to play hide and seek. Anything that would give us shelter from the wind and rain sounds great. Would you show us the way there? Sure. Follow me. And on the way, we can ask about the real, really important things like, like the you know what over there. Right. Ash, can I ask you something? Do you know anything about that giant tree away off in the distance? Oh, you're curious about it too, huh? Uh, so am I. It just sprang up out of nowhere a while ago. I was so surprised. 
Is that all I know about it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's really far away, you know? Most of the people in town say it's probably has something to do with our god. Like, God Sky Boulder. That's actually just what I wanted to ask you about next. It's, is God Sky Boulder to call that enormous cue for all of these mountains? Uh-huh. So that's what it's called. Now that I know its name, the next question is obvious. What exactly is it? Well, that's a funny question. Guys, it's called Sky, Sky, Bill, Sky Boulder. It's been around forever, just like the sun on the ground. Everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'll say. God, Sky Boulder is God, Sky Boulder. Just like the sun is the sun. I'm positive my father would say the same thing. Then why is it called God's Sky Boulder? Not that I can imagine how humans would have made such a thing. Could have made such a thing. Um, I think it's because our God made it. Or maybe because he was there. Sorry, I really don't know. Nobody ever knows me, right? Oh, why is that? Speaking for myself, I find it an enormously compelling object of interest. Most mysterious indeed. It is without a doubt worth investigating. I just know it's got something to do with our God. So people are supposed to stay away. Besides, they also say there are lots of Kali around there trying to kill our God. It's not just me. My father, my aunt, and nobody in Beach ever goes there. Oh, yeah? We have to ask you about the Kali, too. Oh, yeah, so we have to ask about the Kali, too. What we saw, I'm guessing the attacks happened pretty regularly, but... Wow, you mean the Kali never came to your, come to your town? Wow, you mean the Kali never come to your town, travelers? That's so surprising. It must be from somewhere really far away. Especially if you can't see God's Sky Bowl from there. But, yeah, of course the Kali show up a lot whenever... Uh, a yuga is about to end. And since tomorrow's Kali Yuga, I bet there'll be way more tomorrow than there were today. Huh? What are you talking about? You mean you don't know? I thought everybody knew it. About lots of, lots of Kali Shobo and Kali Yuga. This is the last Yuga and all. That's why everyone walks to their doors even, even lighter and praising even harder than they did for the Jvapara Yuga today. Question, what will happen when tomorrow is over? You mean your travelers don't even know that? That's really surprising. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. Even Vihan. I mean, it's something as natural as the sun giving us daylight, you know? Let's just say we're somewhere in re we're from somewhere really off the beaten path. A place pretty much at the ends of the earth where everything from society's history is society history is fundamentally different. So please tell us, Shah. So tell us, Asha. What happens when Kali Yuga is over? Why well, our God passes judgment on everyone? Judge, passes judgment? And everyone dies, of course. What? But then, if God decides you're worthy, he brings you back to life. And the first happy Yuga starts all over again. What? Um, okay, uh, another no battle one, but we'll, we'll do that one the next one. This is already pretty much running almost half an hour, so until next time, so I'll just send you all for watching. I'll see you then. Take care of yourselves. No, excuse me, I got a porch clean.